Hi, this is Kurt with Grimberg, and we've been pretty busy lately. We've been shipping about a hundred orders a month for the Gavel Launcher Pistol, and orders are increasing, and we're trying to keep up. We've got a few machines here, and we have a shop across town that helps us, but we have to expand our production. Most of our advisors are telling us to manufacture overseas, but quality is our top priority, and we all remember the COVID shortages. We're going to continue to make them right here in Maine. In the next two years, we're probably buying our own building, but for right now, we're going to squeeze every bit of value out of this spot. We're getting two new CNC mills, and we're enclosing our carport to house our existing mill, plus the two new ones. And, and where this mill is, we're going to put two injection molding machines right here and enclose this space so it can be ventilated. Over here, we've got one lathe and we're going to remove this wall and that's where the second lathe is going. And we need one more laser printer to make the grips. It's a bit crowded in there, but we'll make it work. I think the only way to go is up. We got our two Form Labs fuse printers. We got a Form Labs blast and we have a form labs sift this is like to recycle the powder here's where we make the grips uh, they're laser printed in this uh, container here we're selling three percent of the company for hundred and fifty thousand dollars that will cover the down payment on the financing for the machines plus the runway in case we have a bad month or something unexpected happens we don't want to go out of business this offer is not available to the general public. It's available to our customers only. Now let me show you the people making it happen. Here's Steve in his new Serico booth. With this big booth, we can get out some volume. Tim is running the machines for now until we hire a second machine operator, and he also does programming. Nikki is who you talk to when you call customer service. She's the one that keeps things organized and all the customers happy. Thank you for calling Grimberg Customer Service. How can I help you? She's also been doing some of the shipping lately, but we're going to hire a shipping person soon. Abe has been assembling your launchers, picking parts and testing them on the range. With the new improvements, we should be able to put out 250 launchers a month in the first year. We're going to continue advertising with YouTubers as it seems to be the best way to get the word out and they're having a lot of fun. Ooh. Oh. Oh fuck. It hurt. Oh, oh no. It's red. It's red. Got it, on the purple. It's purple. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think it was going to hurt like that. Oh. I've been shot, doc. <laughs> <laughs> we only have a few spots left for non-accredited investors so the amount is a little bit higher if you're an accredited investor you can invest at any level all the terms are on our website spelled out for everyone to see i know we keep talking about the solstice but it's not coming out for at least another year probably the end of 2025 we have made some progress though. Here's as far as we've gotten with the new Solstice. It's going to have all the same cosmetic features of the gavel. Um, the grip in the back is a little bit bumped out and it's got some nice stippling. Um, and it's got room for some insets uh, for let's say talon grip. Um, we've got our magazine here, which the projectiles, I don't know if you can see, but they actually go through the magazine. Um, and the CO2 is on a spring system. So you've got the uh, piercing lever about here inside the launcher. Sits in, sits in this little groove right there. And when you insert the magazine, it compresses the spring. Now, when you push the lever forward, it allows the CO2 to spring up and puncture itself into the puncture pin right in there. And that is going to gas up the gun. And since it's still under spring pressure, when you 
when you hit the magazine release right there, um, the magazine will actually shoot right out. Um, the inner bolt and the bolt guide are about the same as the gavel. They're just a little bit longer. The sear is exactly the same design and has the same engagement on the bolt, but it's about a third the size. Back cap is the same as the gavel. And now we're going to have a threaded barrel that you can insert a longer barrel if you want for more power. And our grips are going to be polished. Uh, it, this is laser printed. It's not Cerakoted, but it looks really, really good. So we'll have um, uh, some colors on the top, still Cerakoted, and the grips will be a uh, little bit lighter than this, uh, lighter gray. This is a straight spring like Glock has for their magazine releases. And that button pushes in and this magazine just locks into place right there. And very easy to come out. Um, you can see the whole, how everything's uh, gonna take shape. If you were excited to see that, that's why it's a good time to invest now. Other people are too. We do produce a lot of the parts here, but we need to get some experience in volume production before we attempt to produce the solstice. And we better get that experience while we're working with a tried and tested design. Because it's going to be crazy when this thing hits the shelves. Again, there's zero chance of the solstice coming out anytime soon. Less than zero. Our first launcher did have some issues and we don't want a repeat of that situation. We took two years to work out all the bugs. Now this gavel is super strong, it's built like a tank, and honestly we think it's the better option for self-defense. But people want a magazine, so we're gonna make it. Anyway, here's the building. Here's where all the machines are going. Two more mills, another lathe, another molding machine and another laser printer. We're gonna add a shipping person, a machine operator, and possibly another assembly person when we really get going. It's just what I do. Enjoy that. That's pretty much the whole business plan. We do have a full business plan and financials and a forecast available for potential investors. We're still being advised by the Maine Technology Institute and we're also being advised by SCORE, who's going to be helping us through the loan process. And our whole team is super excited about the project. Thank you very much if you're considering to invest in us. And thank all our customers for your continued support. We couldn't have gotten this far without you.